rejected Jesus. Mm -hmm. The world rejected him. Yeah, you had some people that loved him, but they overall rejected him, and they still rejected him today. Amen. Amen. So I want to encourage you with as a word from the Lord. I want to talk from a topic this morning. I don't know if I'm gonna finish. I may finish. I may not. But I want to make sure this is the Lord gave me a sermon. Not for today, mm. but for 2019. Amen. This must going to be an awesome year for us. Because this word is for next year. This year is coming to a close quickly. Yeah. I want to talk about this morning a camouflage religion. A camouflage religion. Lord say, whatever you did in 2018, I have forgiven you. You are forgiven. Amen. But next year, See, I don't have no New Year's sermon. I do my New Year's sermon at the end of the year. Amen. He said, do not. That don't mean you doing this. Look to them and say, he may not even be talking about you. Amen. But he said, next year, whatever you've done this year, but next year, do not camouflage your religion. Amen. And we're going to look up that word camouflage. I'm going to give you two definitions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the noun definition of camouflage and then the verb definition of camouflage. So we'll make sure we understand it, what the Lord is requiring of us in 2019. The word camouflage as a noun, it means the disguising of a military personnel, equipment, and installation by painting or covering them to blend in with their surroundings. The disguising of military personnel. Equipment. Talking about the equipment, not the person. The equipment and installation by painting them or covering them to blend them in with their surroundings. Like if you want to set a tank out in the middle of the desert, then you got to camouflage. Either paint it the same color of the surroundings or cover it with something to blend in so the enemy won't see that there's a tank. That's talking about as a noun. Now, as a verb, the word means, camouflage means to hide or disguise the presence of a person, an animal or object by means of camouflage. And that's what God said he don't want us to do in 2019. Hide or disguise our religion. And a lot of times we do it, not that we shame, it just become so natural because we used to hide other things. Sometimes we hide our true feelings from people. So it's just a natural thing that we do. But God say it's dangerous when we camouflage our religion because we could be an aid to those that are weaker or in sin. Yeah. So make sure in 2019 we come out the closet Amen. and everyone should know that we are a child of God by actions and not lip service. Amen. The way you carry yourself, people should know you are God's child. Amen. Uh, Amen. Amen. Well, what are some synonyms for the same word camouflage? Some, some words that have the same meaning. It means to disguise. Don't disguise your religion in 2019. It means to hide. Don't hide your religion or your identity in Christ next year. It means to conceal. Some of the people we real close with don't even know we Christians. That's right. It means to conceal. It means to keep hidden. Mm -hmm. It means to mask. It means to <coughs> scream or cover. God say, we ain't talking about this. Y'all already forgiven if you've done that. But next year, I need you to come out the closet. How many of y'all heard that song? I'm coming out. I want the world to. Y'all, come on, y'all heard that song. Yeah. Words of admonition from the Lord Jesus in 2019 is to stop camouflaging your religion. As a believer, some tend to conceal their identity of being a saint from their families, from their friends. From their co worker, from their neighbors, and society. Mm -hmm. Their faith. Some are ashamed of their faith, even to be called a Christian, 
due to all the negative publicity given about the church and its followers today. And that's why we shame sometimes. And sometimes we don't speak out. We're more quickly to tell people we voted Democrat before we tell them we're Christian. And God said that was all right for 2018. But we don't speak out on a job. And I know we say, well, they don't want you to talk about Jesus on the job. And we got a policy against, they got a policy against everything. We pretty much break them all. <laughs> Most of your lunch breaks is 30 minutes to an hour. And we go way over that. Even though we clock back in, we know how to do it. We break rules for everything. When it comes to witnessing, we keep the rules. Mm. They don't want us to talk about Christ. You can talk about Christ on your job without getting in trouble. Yeah. There are ways of doing it. Don't camouflage your religion yeah. in 2019, as God said. That don't mean you're doing nothing wrong. But what he, if, if people don't know that you love Jesus like you love Jesus, you've been camouflaged. That's right. Amen. Amen. God said that's not a good thing. Let's look at our ground script. Drop over the script. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. When you finally say, bless his name. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. Don't you know if you're doing it right, living right, people know you're a saint anyway? You say, well, Pastor, how do they know? I'm telling you, they know. Because let me give you an example. How many of y'all call people old devil? He said, he come over Leroy, the old devil. <laughs> now, you don't know the Leroy devil, but he sure act like one most of the time. So that's why you say that. So if you're doing what you're supposed to do, they'll say, he come old brother so-and-so, he come old and roll it. If you're doing it right. But if we hide who we are, people don't know we are the born-again believer. Okay. Matthew 10, 32. When you find say, bless his name. Bless, bless his name. name. Now look what Jesus said. This don't look like Nobody has camouflaged in their religion right here. He said, whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him I will confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Jesus said, you make a declaration about me at the barbecue while you drink and feeling good. <laughs> it's all right to drink and talk about Jesus. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right to talk about Jesus anytime. But a lot of times we don't want to spoil the party because we don't want to bring up the gospel. Why not? You can talk about Jesus whenever the Spirit hits you. But a lot of times he said, but look what he said, you confess me before me, I will confess you also before my Father, which is him. Sometimes you need to tell your boss what does said the Lord. But you know what he said? I ain't going to do going to cut my house. I ain't going to do that because he's going to get mad. You camouflage it then because your spirit pressed you to say it. Y'all say, I need to be more radical in 2019. That's all we're saying. Come on, let's be a little bit more radical and quit trying to stay along the border of protection and quit trying to stop getting in trouble and be more radical. Look at verse 33 says, But whosoever shall deny me before me and him Will I also deny before my father, which is never? See, you done covered it up, hid it, concealed it, and got away with it. Nobody knows that you're a child of God. Right. Jesus said, But if you deny me, I'm going to what? Deny you. Now, Pastor ain't making that up. That's why God said, If you didn't know no better, that's okay. We're going to make sure for 2019, we're going to blow the trumpet. Everybody close to us, near us, far from us, ex friend, new friends. Present friend gonna know that I love Jesus if nothing else Amen. in 2019. Yes. Amen. We need not to be afraid or ashamed to be associated with Jesus today. We need to honor him with our life, not hide, cover, or disguise our commitment to him as a believer. Right. What kind of preacher would I be if I never talked about Jesus? Mm -hmm. What kind of preacher would I be if I never talked about Jesus? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need not to be afraid or ashamed to be associated with Jesus Christ today. We need to honor him with our life and not hide, cover, or disguise our commitment to him as a believer. Many believers today camouflage their religion for a number of reasons. 
But no excuse is valid enough to deny Christ on any level. Despite the cause, many do anyway. Some do it knowingly, and some do it unknowingly. How can I disguise my identity with Christ unknowingly? Because when company comes over, you let a little more loose. You really, you really, you 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 really don't want to get as loose as they get loose, but you don't want to appear to be weak. Listen, God already know. God already know. Or when you with the girls, you marry, and you know, you, you love your husband. You ain't gonna never cheat on her. But she might say, that girl, that guy ain't fine, ain't he? And you might say, yeah, he's fine. Say, no, I got a husband. I don't look at other men. You see what I'm saying? You camouflage. Mm -hmm. Don't mean you sin. You, uh, the girl, the pressure of the girl, the ladies on y'all. Y'all know it's many more examples. I go all night. Mm -hmm. You know, you go out to have dinner and the bartender say, have another one. And you say, really, I've reached my limit. I feel good. I'm all right. Come on, it's Friday night. It's Friday evening. It's, the sky's the limit. It's on me. You say, well, you know what? This is on you. That ain't what you want to say, though. Mm -hmm. You have a camera for Y'all see where I'm going on. Yes. In other words, be Christ-like at all times. It's always good to be Christ-like. Yes. And some did it unknowingly because that's how they felt. They really didn't realize what they were doing. They was putting their light out. And God said, it's never a good time to put your light out. Right. Especially in the world we live in today. And then some normally did. Hey. Since I'm in Vegas, what goes on in Vegas? Damn Vegas. <laughs> oh, y'all know I ain't, ain't trying to fight. Look, he said he ain't come to put nobody down. I'm just trying to make sure next year, when you go on that family cruise or that trip, you still a child. Everybody on the ship should know it. You should say, you know what? I want to make a toast mm -hmm. to all the Christians on this cruise this evening. <laughs> you ain't going to do that. Since you in the Bahamas, I might as well. Like a bomb. Uh -huh. <laughs> God said, be Christ like. Because God may spare that ship on that cruise because you the only one on that ship that's safe. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Is it possible to camouflage your religion and be a productive believer? Nah. If you study putting Christ down and hide in the sky and in front, how can you be a productive believer? Mm -hmm. You can be saved. I mean, you're going to, that don't mean you're productive. In other words, that don't mean you bear fruit. That don't mean you winning others to the body of Christ. Because you keep hiding who you are. But you're saved. But you're not productive. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to camouflage your religion and be a productive believer? No, it's not possible. If we cover or hide our relationship with Jesus, it's probably due to our lack of commitment to him. A lot of times we don't want to commit or invite or preach or witness people because we're not completely sold out yet. Right. Amen. And God said, I'm trying to get you to the sold out stage. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We've been sold out before. Uh -huh. When our creeds marched across that stage, we stuck our chest out so big we thought we were some toys in. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's a proud thing. That's just your kid. And other accomplishments you have for yourself. When you lost your first 10 pounds, you were happy. Whatever. It's all right. But what about that same attitude and pride about being a child of God? Mm -hmm. Some people are so used to camouflaging everything and other areas of their life and doing it so well, doing it until their religion don't make a difference to them. Right. It's become natural. They say anything you do for 30 days becomes a habit. And we're so used to covering up how we feel in other areas of our life. We do it our religion unknowingly sometimes. Right. Some people think just because they don't curse no more, they doing all right. You may not cuss anymore, but you may curse with your mouth others. What are some areas we camouflage? Look at them and say, he's going to have early dismissal today. 
But see, I like a group that got to understand it. When people got to understand it, and I know y'all feel it because I can feel your spirit. You know what I'm talking about. Just come on out. Don't be ashamed. If you got to be ashamed, then go by yourself. At least you won't get in trouble with God. Because you, what the pastor don't know, God let me peek in the side what he wants you to know. Because if you're doing it, he's going to hold it against you in the end. He just said, if you confess me, I don't worry. I got you when you get to heaven. Mm -hmm. I know you messed up. But when you get to heaven, Jesus said, he's with me. Amen. I paid for his sins. He covered. Let him in, Peter. Amen. Huh? Amen. But if you deny Christ, mm -hmm. and when you get to heaven, and Satan will have all these accusations against you, Jesus is going to say, you know what? He denied me. It's my time to deny. I never know. He's telling you that's what he's going to do. If you keep hiding who you are in him. Amen. That's the word. Mm -hmm. And so we're so used to camouflage in other areas of our life. Doing it to our religion. Unknowing it don't make a difference to us. What are some areas we camouflage? Some of our feelings. Mm -hmm. Sister Carol just said this morning. She had a terrible headache. See, that's being real. But still press your way. Come on, babe. You all right? Amen. You all right, because there's going to be a bunch of days I got a headache, no headache, and I don't want to come to this place. Mm -hmm. But I can't do that because I'm working for who? Jesus! I got to go when I want to go, I got to go when I don't, and I got to do it the way he wants me to do it. Amen. Preach the word, be in season and out of season. Yeah. In season and out of season. When they want to hear, when they don't want to hear. When you want to preach it and you don't want to preach it, be a preacher. Sometimes we camouflage our feelings. They ask us on the job, how you feel? And because you know they know you're saying, you say, oh, I'm blessed, highly favored. You should, you can tell them the truth. Yes. You know, we'll pray for them because I really don't feel like being born today and I want to be a child, but I need the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's the truth. That's being transparent. Mm -hmm. Some of us hide our feelings. Some of us hide our thoughts. Somebody may ask you sometimes, what you think about it? I say, oh, nothing. And you just as depressed, I don't know what. Because we're scared to tell the truth because a saint don't supposed to get sad. Well, we're in my Bible, it said Jesus wept. <laughs> it don't matter what he was crying about, he wept. Some of us camouflage our marriage. We leave home, we leave the ring in the car. Uh oh, I ain't trying to get nobody in trouble, but somebody somewhere in YouTube land, not here, but in YouTube land. Get in the car. You kind of, it don't mean you're going to cheat. It's just you don't want people to know you married. Because you may see a future prospect. <laughs> and the Lord said, in 2019, cut it out. Amen. They ain't need that ring in the shower. Mm -mm. <laughs> and if the women wear wise or the men real wise, either or, they'll see that you got a ring. You used to have a ring on that. Where you, I ask sometimes, where your ring at, baby? Oh, uh oh, where you ring at? Because see, my job is to identify who Satan is at all times, and I can't afford to get it wrong. And you can't either. Mm -hmm. See, y'all think the your job is just like the preacher. The only difference is you ain't preaching every Sunday, but you living it every Sunday. Mm -hmm. You need to be identifying the devil to some of y'all. Some people, they get it for they. Oh, man, I see that sister girl. Shoot, how you doing? Y'all know what happened. It happened all over. Mm -hmm. Then some are married, and they say, but we don't sleep in the same bedroom. <laughs> Lying you all of that night. <laughs> Lying. Let me move on. Some of us camouflage our income. You know how you camouflage your income? Always acting like you broke. Amen. <laughs> you take your friend out there. You, if you got a friend that you done treated the last four times, dump him or dump her. You ain't that broke. <laughs> Every time y'all go out, you pay. So the check bounced last time. They forgot my time card and all. Camouflage our income. Some of us, we love this. Camouflage our head. We aching. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> but we still try to put them skinny jeans on. Come on, baby. You old now. Leave that for the young people. <laughs> Act your age, not the shoe side. People camouflage. Dying every day. Then you got to keep dying. And keep. Then some of us, and I'm closing with this, like the camouflage the agenda. Right. Uh -huh. 
Yes. I'm going to leave that one to the gainsayers. Some of us camouflage our gender. We want, some of us women want to act like we men. I notice I say act like, right? Just you be what you want to be. Just if you're, listen, why you got to, if you're a man and you want to be a woman, you ain't got to keep on putting on makeup. Just act like a woman. I can see you acting like a sister. Ah. I mean, I understand. You still, you still a man, whether you put the dress on or not. You still a man. Right. So why put the dress on? <laughs> and some of these women want to be a man and act like a dude. I can see you act, you act like manly. <laughs> so why go cut all your pretty hair off? <laughs> you camouflage because whatever. That's not who you really are. You acting like that. Camouflage in our religion is never a good thing to do. We must be a representative of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Until he returns. I'm getting the last scripture we close. Matthew chapter 5, we're going on. Don't camouflage your religion. That's what Jesus wants. That ain't what the pastor wants. That's what Jesus wants. Matthew chapter 5. Let's look at verse 14. Matthew 5, 14. You can find the same blessing, man. Blessing, Look what Jesus said. He said, ye are the light of the world. Mm. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Mm. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, mm. but on the candlestick, and they give it light to all that are in the house. Mm. Verse 16, this is my word for you in 2019. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 It's time to come out the closet. Amen. And let everyone know that you are a child of the Lord Jesus Christ.